Okay guys, let's jump right into it. Uh, we're talking about online marketing strategies and specifically uh, today's training is going to be on creating highly targeted traffic uh, for our funnel sites. And that does several things for us. Number one, um, it, it, it puts us in front of uh, a targeted market. That's a very, very important step. Um, and you know, that's, that's kind of the basics of, of what we teach in, in the inner circle. Uh, the number one step, the very first thing we need to do, and, and a lot of people miss this, is to identify who's our target market. Every company says, you know, we got the product that everybody wants. We got, you know, everybody wants to lose weight. Everybody wants to vacation. Everybody wants to make money. Uh, all that uh, is not, not necessarily true, guys. Uh, and, and here's the deal, you know, uh, a lot of people say, yes, I want to lose weight. A lot of people say, yes, I want to make extra money. I, I want a vacation. I want to travel the world. Uh, but very few people actually take the steps to do that. So what we're looking for, uh, <clears throat> when we're talking about identifying our target market, what we're looking for are people that are actually taking those steps. So if you're, let's say, uh, uh, marketing a weight loss product, it's not every fat person that's your target market. Uh, some people think that is, but that's not the fact because every fat person does not want to, every, every person that's overweight does not want to lose weight or is not willing to do what it takes to lose weight or is not willing to pay to get products that will help them lose weight. So really the, 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 the target market for a person that's, that's marketing a weight loss product are people that are health conscious that are you know um, at that point in their life when where they want to shed the weight uh, at that point in their life where they're doing taking steps uh, on a regular basis to do that they're spending money to buy nutritionals to do that uh, that's the real target market and that's uh, it, it's night and day guys you know you can be fighting against human nature and trying to convince people uh, to do something that they don't want and they're just going to be fighting you there's going to be a tug of war but if you find uh, a, a market or you you can find where your specific market is is uh, you know hanging out online for instance and now you know that these people yeah these people are doing something to, to achieve that end to lose the weight to you know they're 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 searching for answers now you got uh you know your, your chances of success are a lot better so identifying your target market very very important it's the first thing that we want to do now what do we do once we find that i just kind of touched on it briefly but that's what we're doing guys we're we're, we're kind of figuring out once you know you figure out where where are these people hanging out okay um, and and now you can put yourself in a position where you're in front of them and not only are you in front of them because uh, if you're just screaming out there I got the greatest weight loss product they may not notice because they're hearing that all the time but if you're if you're doing that in a way where you are providing solutions for them and you are answering concerns that they have you figure out what what's keeping my target market up at night right when they're laying in bed there in the dark staring at the ceiling what are they thinking about if you can come up with answers to what they're thinking about and it's not that difficult to do if you can do that then you're going to get noticed and what happens there is that you start getting the traffic and hopefully you start capturing that's uh, that's a very important step in this in this uh, marketing matrix because what you want to do is not only get traffic but you want to also capture names and hopefully telephone numbers if you can do that uh, that puts you in a position now where you can start building relationships and that is very very important guys you know a lot of times uh, people kind of uh, get lost with the online marketing strategies that are put out there and and sometimes you think or you're taught that you know you got the greatest website in the world you got the greatest autoresponder system in the world and really you don't need to contact anybody just let the the, the system do all the work for you well if you're looking to develop a, a long-term residual income that does not work if you've been sold on that idea um, you really need to rethink uh, your your marketing because the bottom line is network marketing is about building relationships so you want to be able to again create that traffic uh, of targeted uh, prospects and be able to capture names and hopefully telephone numbers and get on the phone 
and 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 start to develop in, you know start developing a, a relationship because that's where the money's at that's where the long term stability is at um, you cannot have a a long term residual income guys without having the uh, relationships and if you're if you're attempting to teach that to your organization uh, you know that you can just build online without without building relationships uh, you, you're guiding your team in the wrong direction the fact of the matter is we need to build relationships and all this builds up to what what we uh, like to call the three keys to to sales uh, and that's the no like and trust factor anytime money is exchanged online or anywhere uh, offline uh, anytime money is exchanged in any business transaction, it's because the person that's handing the money over knows, likes, and trusts the other person that they're giving their money to. Why would you give your money to anybody, anybody else, right? If you don't know them, if you don't like them, if you don't trust them, you will not open up your wallet and pass them your, your credit card and say, here, put it on that. You will not open up your wallet and, and, and take out cash and pass it to somebody else that you don't know, like, and trust. So... Really, our, 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 our strategy is to kind of build up to that, build up to the no like, and trust factor. And you do that with several things, with the follow-up, you know, with your autoresponder. That, that, that has a place in there. Uh, you do that also with the building of relationships, like I said, that has a place in there. You do that by positioning yourself um, and solving problems and answering concerns and, and, and providing solutions and all those things. That's what... Uh, ultimately we're looking to do with our strategy develop the no like and trust factor we want to be known by as many people as possible within our target market we want to be liked by those people and we want to be trusted that's a key key element guys so how do we generate this traffic a lot of ways uh, right now social media content marketing we talked we talked about that a couple weeks ago um, you know video marketing vac linking uh, free classified ads, uh, social bookmarking, all these things, guys, work together to kind of start what I call uh, residual traffic. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But uh, I just want to give you a quick example uh, with social media, for instance, with Facebook. How do you get in front of your target market? Now, again, uh, because of, of we want to keep this short, we want to keep it straight to the point. Uh, I'm just going to use Facebook in this example, but you can also do this kind of targeting uh, with Twitter, with LinkedIn, with most other uh, social media sites. So let's take a quick uh, let's take a quick uh, trip to Facebook, and, and and I'll show you what we're talking about here. Okay, guys, here's a, here's a quick example of, of what I'm talking about as far as being able to target um, target your market here, right? So. Uh, here we got we're on Facebook. This is my page uh, and I'm going to go here to the search bar and I'm going to put in uh, network marketing and uh, Some of you may have seen this uh, done before uh, With with another video I had out there. So putting network marketing now I don't hit enter what I'm going to do is scroll over here uh, slide over here to that uh, magnifying glass and Click that and what that does is it's going to filter out um, network marketing uh, by by keyword now I can find people uh, pages places groups applications all these things uh, public posts uh, with by doing that putting uh, the search the specific search that I want to target and hitting the magnifying glass it brings me over here okay now let's say I wanted to do groups I would just click on groups and it's gonna again um, put me uh, give me all that information for these uh, groups here now here's a group that I'm already a member of um, let me just go back there there's a group that I'm already a member of and that that one group has 7667 members uh, another group I'm, I'm involved with uh, that's I'm a member of that's a network marketing group uh, 5268 uh, members and 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 as you can see the list goes on and on guys you can become members of these things you have to ask uh, to join so I asked to join uh, whoever the admin is in that in that group is going to accept me or not accept me and if they do accept me then I can start posting an ad there 
Um, so I'll give you a quick example. Let's say I, I uh, here in network marketing, this group at the top, uh, 7,600 uh, members. You can just write something here and members that are going to that page, not all members are active, but whoever is going to that page can see whatever everybody else has written. Okay, these are members that are posting uh, today, weight loss products and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, here's the key, guys. And uh, another thing that you want to keep in mind when you're actually uh, trying to target your market here on, on in, in social media. And, and by the way, guys, you could do this with Twitter. You could do this with LinkedIn. It's, uh, they all have kind of different... Uh, ways to doing uh, to doing the same thing, but you can uh, really target your your market by you know uh, just going to the search and doing specific searches. But I'm going to give you another example here. Um, I'm going to put I need a vacation, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the magnifying glass again. Now I could have I could have. Um, gone to groups and see what I what I can find there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to public posts so that little I need a vacation I'm going to see who's written that in their p specific uh, post in their status um, and now I can target them if I'm doing a target you know I'm using that example because there's there's a lot of good uh, vacation uh, programs out there and that's my target market somebody that wants or needs a vacation um, now I can just go over and, and and look at this guy here he says uh, you know I need a vacation perhaps this summer I can go and befriend him and now I can you know put him in front of my opportunity just just a, a little example guys of what can be done with social media and and how to target your market because that's that's the strategy that we're using so that again guys is, is kind of a short way of me kind of uh, just triggering some thoughts on how you can use social media and Facebook in this specific uh, example on how to target your specific uh, market uh, there's a lot of ways to do that guys and and in, in the future we'll get into more specifics and, and maybe do trainings on that we could talk about that for hours guys how to target your specific market uh, in social media uh, but but let's just let's just uh, move on for now you got content marketing we discussed that a couple of weeks ago and we're going to continue to discuss it because it's a very powerful system and <clears throat> we're going to touch on it today uh, you also have video marketing uh, again very hot topic uh, mr. Mike Colucio is going to be talking about that today kind of giving you some pointers and some some guidance on that you have backlinking. We're not going to be discussing backlinking today, but it's a great way of creating residual traffic. Now, we're going to talk about that concept in the next slide, residual traffic. But backlinking pretty much is uh, kind of a bridge that you create uh, between your, your site and another site, or multiple sites, better said, uh, that brings traffic back to you, or that, that points traffic back to you. Okay, uh, Free classified sites. We got Craigslist and Backpage. Those are two very popular sites. And in another training, we'll discuss how we can use that to create traffic. I just want you to know that these things are there. Uh, we're just discussing these simple uh, strategies. These I'm just pointing these out. And there's more than that. Uh, social bookmarking. You got sites like uh, Dig, Pinterest, and Reddit. All those, are again, are to kind of increase the flow of traffic to you all these strategies they work together um, today however we're gonna we're gonna talk about two specific uh, strategies there and <clears throat> excuse me the reason why I'm talking about these two is because of the concept of residual traffic guys residual traffic is very very important um, Residual traffic basically is that you do something one time, just like residual income. You do something one time, but you continue to get um, to get effects from that. You continue to get uh, a, a reaction out of it. So blogging and article marketing, content marketing is the, the, the way, guys. Content is king. Uh, good content consistently posted uh, and strategically placed will bring massive traffic to you. What does that mean? 
that means that right now if you have a blog and you should have a blog um, you put good content up there and um, again guys if we're going back to the, 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 the four strategies that we talked about we're putting content that's going to be targeted to our specific target market and we are doing that in a way where uh, again uh, we're solving answers we're solving problems and, and providing answers for them and by doing that you're going to get uh, people to come over and start that process of knowing you and probably liking you and if you give good 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 content and you're consistent and you're doing it on a, on a regular basis they're going to start uh, trusting you okay so <clears throat> this is how this all fits in guys you want to identify, you want to, you want to put, position yourself in front of them with good answers for their issues, and you want to do it on a consistent basis. Now, blogging and article marketing is, is unique in the sense that it goes out there, and I'll give you an example pretty soon, but it goes out there and it, it sits in, in these sites and it goes and it, and it continues to drive traffic, continues to drive traffic, okay? Let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about um, with, uh, with content marketing here. Uh, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago and I just wanted to kind of give you a visual representation of what, uh, what the power of this, okay? This is a simple uh, YouTube uh, search for article directories. And this is listing the top 50 directories by traffic and page ranking. Um, again, uh, there's a lot more than 50. All right, guys. But uh, just by looking at this, this is an Alexa rating. Uh, Google, obviously, is going to be number one uh, because of all the, the, the ranking and all the traffic that they're getting. But look at these pages. Hub pages, for instance, is 295 in the Alexa rating. That's huge, guys. That's you have no idea we're talking about millions and millions of pages and it's 295 uh easy in articles 324 okay um very very uh, i mean this is this is huge guys so when you're putting your information in any one of these things guys it creates that residual traffic that we're talking about Here's my account for uh, easy and articles, and this is just one of my accounts. I got a few here, and um, this has gotten uh, 7,415 page views. Again, guys, this is one, uh, one, one directory, easy and articles, which is one of my favorites, and it's one of the more popular ones. You see it right here. Uh, but that one page has gotten me seven, over 7,000 hits. That's the power of residual um, traffic, guys. That's the power of content marketing. When you put something up there and you keyword it the right way and it's something that's solving the problems of your specific target market, uh, it's, it's going to generate traffic and it's going to re generate recurring traffic. So everything else that you do with social media and, and advertising uh, on Craigslist and, and Backpage and all the backlinking and all the other stuff, everything that you do is going to be on top of all this good traffic. And this is good, um, specific, directed traffic. Traffic that's directed towards your specific target market. That's the key, guys. That's, uh, that's the number one thing that we're teaching in, in this group here. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time just getting traffic, any old traffic. You want spe uh, specific, direct traffic uh, that's talking directly to your target market. Okay, guys, so, so that's uh, a basic idea of, of what article marketing can do for your business, uh, especially if you're using it on a consistent basis, guys, and consistency is the key. Uh, video marketing, guys, is kind of the same. It has, it has the same result, guys. You put up a YouTube video, um, and it, it, your, if your YouTube video is, again, solving a problem or answering a concern or, you know, providing a solution or doing things like that, uh, it's going to sit there. And as people are searching Google, um, if you keyword it the right way, if you put the right titles, and Mr. Mike Colucio is going to go over that, but if you do that the right way, then you're going to see how the traffic starts flowing. And it's a residual traffic effect. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want to produce. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Google owns YouTube. So when somebody does a Google search, um, it, it, 
Google tries to filter out if YouTube has anything to answer those those search uh, those keywords. Uh, if it does, then Google wants to maintain the traffic on their sites, so they 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 present the answer to the keyword search uh, in the form of a Google video. I mean, a uh, YouTube video. That's what. Uh, that's why it's so so powerful, guys. Uh, to continue to put uh, good good videos out there and put it out there, and, and I'll tell you guys, you know, a lot of people are very apprehensive about videos, about standing in front of a camera, and you know, they they get self conscious. Do it anyway, guys. That's the bottom line. Do it anyway, and you'll get better. If you see some of the videos that that I made in the beginning, uh, some of the videos that the top producers that are now, you know, very comfortable with being in front of the camera. If you see what they they've done in the beginning you would you flat out laugh you know hysterically what we're talking about guys is taking uh the little actions just getting a little bit better just putting out a little bit more put out the content on a consistent basis and it doesn't make a difference how bad you think you look it doesn't make a difference sometimes and i'll tell you guys there are some people out there that have developed humongous incomes uh, putting out the worst videos you ever seen. Never had, you know. I mean, we we we're lucky enough that we got Mike Kalusha over here, and 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 we always try to do something very professional. And we got Mike manipulating and changing and doing uh, video editing and stuff like that. But there's some people that just with a simple, you know, camcorder or or a simple webcam went out there, produced videos, put it out there, and you'd be surprised the results that people get. You know why? Because people want to see a face. A lot of times, you know, we go out there and we're just looking at a web page and we don't see the, the person behind it. And when you do get to see the person behind it, it kind of changes the, um, you know, kind of the feeling of it, right? You get to know that person, even if it's just on video there. But it, that, that helps a lot, guys. So putting out consistent videos about yourself, solving problems, uh, answering uh, concerns, Doing all of that, guys, is what starts the residual traffic process. And that's what we want. And, again, being consistent is what makes a difference. Uh, post good content targeted to your specific market regularly, guys. Set yourself a challenge. Uh, you know, for the next 90 days, I'm going to do so many articles. I'm going to put so many posts. I'm going to figure out things. I'm going to ask myself questions. What is a, what's a major concern of my target market? If you're in the weight loss industry, right? You may, you may write a post about, you know, uh, how to end, uh, you know, the yo-yo effect uh, with, with weight loss. You know, where you gain 10 pounds but you, uh, or you lose 10 pounds and you gain 12. Uh, that yo-yo effect is something that a lot of people, it's a concern, a major concern for people that are in weight loss. So you can do some research. You can go into Google right now, research a couple of articles, see what the experts are saying about that, take some of that information, put it in your own words, write an article, post it up there, and you'll be surprised how many people are going to stop to look at that, that article for you because you are now addressing one of their concerns, right? Uh, post videos. Uh, again, guys, this is something that you should be doing on a regular basis. Do something, get get familiar with it, get get comfortable in front of the camera, and go out there and start posting uh, uh, things, guys. Put it on, do it on a regular basis, and you're gonna see that that all of that uh, works very well. A couple of weeks ago, we had Miss Renee Arpin, uh, who was part of our inner circle. Do um, she did a training on uh, researching keywords. Um, and, and how that that helps with ranking your your articles and things like that. Very great, uh, great training that she did. But it was uh, over a, a telephone conference line. We're gonna be doing. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have her here again, and she's gonna do this um, live on the, on this webinar so that you can actually see how that process is done. Very very powerful. Very good for you know getting that. Uh, getting your 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 articles and your videos ranking very high. What you want to start, guys, is the process of getting noticed. That's very very important. Like we said in the beginning, uh, no like and trust is the ultimate outcome for us. We want people to know us. We want the masses to to know us, like us, and trust us. If you get that, the faster you can get that, the faster the sales are going to flow. So. <clears throat> 
once the, once the traffic starts flowing, guys, um, the next thing you want to do is start capturing leads. Uh, and that's the follow-up process. That's what we're talking about when we started this conversation. We said, how do we get traffic flowing to a funnel site? That's what the process, uh, the, the, the complete process is. We get, we get in front of the tra- target market. We, we position ourselves where we're getting seen, where we're answering the right questions and doing the right stuff. And that uh, then starts the, the, the traffic flow. Now, we just don't want traffic to flow uh, to our sites without capturing them. That's a major, major thing. Um, because people, if they come to your site today, chances are they're never going to come back again unless you find a way to capture their information. That's where, uh, you know, using capture sites, using autoresponders, and following up is of major, major importance. So, I'm not going to get into this too much, but understand this, guys. Um, most people do not make a buying decision until they've seen uh, whatever it is, whatever uh, message, whether it be in print, on TV, or uh, on the internet. The, the studies show that most people do not make a buying decision uh, until they've seen things over and over and over again. I think the average uh, that was shown in a, in a recent uh, university study was 7 to 12 exposures. Um, so a person needs to see the same thing, needs to get the same thing. That's what autoresponders and follow-ups and all this other stuff is, is there for, to create, to automate this follow-up process for us. And, and uh, you know, this is where I'm going to end, and uh, this is where I'm going to pass the baton.